All right, guys. Sorry about the wind, but I need to throw a major truck update out there. Not much of it going on exciting. Stuff's been breaking more than usual. So with that, let's go right into the update. All right, guys. Sorry about the wind, but I want to have an update out there on the truck. You can see both back wheels are off. We just got our because if you follow my Instagram, you know that my old wheel lights were absolutely Chinese garbage and broke. So we could bought some new ones from LED Glow. That was still blocked the wind a bit. But other stuff's been going on. My door handle quit working. Not the inside. The outside. Just put that back in. And as you can see right there, my ignition. Uh, the cover broke off of it, therefore, I gotta start with a pencil, like a steering wheel, all of that. And there's one of the new LED glow rings just over there. Door panel chilling here, gotta put that back on. Like I said, just finished that door handle over there. So, actually, lost one of the screws. That's fun, digging through your whole shop to find one that fits until you can get a replacement. But, just got the door handle working again. I've taken it out several times. Because it's kit, it kits. Well, yeah, don't your stuff just kit working? It quit working. And the clip just got wore out. So, had to get another clip. And you can't see in there. But, as you all know, these door handles are absolutely atrocious to get out. I hate them. I actually bent part of the you can call it a flange on the door because they're so hard to get in and out but i finally got it got the rod locked into place i had to bend mine back to how it was supposed to be because i couldn't find and it wouldn't work the way it was supposed to or so i just made it work i don't know if it's how it's supposed to be but it works like i said to get the door panel back on so i'm gonna go ahead throw that back on and then i'll show y'all how to start my truck and what we're doing to fix that show y'all how i have to start the truck so up here that's the pencils in my visor come down to the pin and the ignition turn it put your pencil back and then you can just go ahead and starter but i have seven Having to start the truck. Got my new ignition in. Mexico. And apparently. There is a different ignition. For a manual transmission. But the fun that comes with this. Is that. I'll get this one hand. This ignition. Is not coated. And did not come with springs or anything. So, I'm going to take it to my uncle. He knows how to coat them and everything. I don't. And I don't want to fool with all that stuff. But, as you saw, the ignition works fine. It's just a hassle. Because it doesn't have the cover and the button on it for locking the steering wheel and such. But... Other than that, other than all the problems wrong with my truck, it's a great truck. And that sound real nice. Here's a look at the LED rings outside of it. Get an idea on the thickness of them. The camera would focus. Which it will not. Of course it won't. I'm trying to film. But, these are extremely better built than my other ones. I already got the front ones on. Here you can see them. Again, sorry about the wind. It's a lot brighter. I know they're supposed to hug your rotor. But, it's being an older truck. Smaller rotor. It's actually the car kit. That way I could get the smaller version. But, there they are on the front. They do have a little bit of sway to them. 
Gotta make some custom brackets for this older truck. But at the end of this, I will let y'all see all four of them at night. We're supposed to be finishing up the back today, which should not take any time. We're just mounting them on the back of there. But that's the plan. That's going to be a separate video for informational purposes because I haven't seen a YouTube video on how to mount them on drums. We're coming up this way ourselves uh, based upon the LED glow brackets. So I'm going to drop that video probably before this one. As soon as we get done, I'll probably drop that and throw some information out there. Because I didn't even think about it before I ordered these. Or before I ordered my last set on how to mount the back. But I found a way to mount them. We're just starting up my brackets. But, with that, I'm gone. Alright guys, I'm going to hit a little outro here. But, before I went, I wanted to show y'all the difference in these. I didn't realize this one was sitting right out beside me. But, this other one's cheap Chinese. The good ones are from ledglow.com. They were great price. They're 210 and they're white, as you'll see in the video later tonight. The white isn't pure, but it's the closest to pure I've seen without being pure, if that makes any sense. But, you can see, they're a nice leg glow one. Here's our old one. Yeah, it's no bueno. It's broke right here. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Camera's not gonna focus, but four, five brakes and a single wheel ring. And you can just see how thin that aluminum is. I thought you'd be able to. There you go. How thin that is compared to our beefy new LED glow ones. And these are much brighter. So far, highly recommend. I've been on the road a little bit with the front ones. But, enough of my rambling. I will see y'all in the next video.